Bueno, con el eh, propósito de elevar el nivel de squash en Guatemala, eh, la Asociación Nacional de Squash está llevando eventos y actividades para mejorar el rendimiento y las eh, capacidades de nuestros atletas. Con el objetivo ha traído y está haciendo estas actividades, y está trayendo a, una, a personas internacionales con un nivel muy, muy importante a nivel internacional. Con ellos eh, tenemos a, a, a mí, a Atlas Khan, eh, de Pakistán. Él es eh, un reconocido atleta del deporte de squash. Eh, a mí, uh, welcome to Guatemala. Uh, it is a privilege to have you here. Um, tell me a little bit about your background in the sport of squash. Uh, well, uh, squash, I'm a very strong champion. My father, Pakistan, he used to be world champion in the TV news. And then my other uncle, Mr. Lafran, he was a uh, world champion. And then my another uncle, uh, Jack Shepard, he was a world champion for uh, 10 years. So we go for squash for uh, very long, except I have uh, uh, five brothers and uh, uh, they are all very good in the squash. Uh, my elder brother, Khalil, is now finished with the Guatemala squash now. He used to be our world junior champion, plus uh, he was also uh, working with me as a coach. And uh, when he was uh, training with me, I reached to PSA World Ranking number 14. And uh, I have uh, one more player, uh, Dan Shikhan. He is Pakistan for the group and he is also a very good squash uh, player. So in the field of squash, we achieved a lot of good uh, results. Okay. Great, so uh, welcome to Guatemala. Um, tell me about the, uh, the camp uh, the camp that is being done here in Guatemala. Uh, how do you see and what are the things that you are doing? To help out with the uh, with our uh, Well, uh, nowadays the camp in uh, Guatemala squash is running uh, by very good squash coach uh, Alvin Tasman. He's a level two uh, squash uh, coach. Plus, uh, as a coach, he has very good results. So it's uh, running by very good professionals now. And uh, if uh, it will go like this, the uh, Guatemala squash federation. Very good, very soon. And except this, uh, uh, he's working nowadays uh, with the place with very good technique. Plus, he's working on the uh, uh, stamina space. He's working on the uh, place mental strength as well. So, it's all together, we will definitely get a very good reward in the future if he is uh, working with the place like this. Great. And also uh, tell me if, uh, if there was something that you will, that you could tell um, our, our athletes so that they can increase and uh, uh, elevate their game. Well, uh, what would you tell them? But I've seen players here, they need like uh, three, four years to come on the top. Okay. There's no short term, they have to do a long term planning. They have to work with a very good for a long time. Okay. Because uh, they can't achieve things in a uh, short time. If you want to achieve something, you have to work and then long So now they started it, so they will keep working like, like this for a long time. The good training is very important for the players. And it was uh, as a main PSA tournament. If they will get a good uh, training here, yes, they will play a PSA tournament. Great. Well, I mean, it's been a pleasure having you in Guatemala. We hope to see you in the future so that you can help us and uh, what the Mala is your house. Okay? Thank you so much for, for this opportunity. Have a great day. También nos encontramos hoy con Khalid Atlas Khan. Él es el entrenador nacional de squash del equipo junior de Guatemala. Él es también hermano de Amir Atlas Khan, que ya lo hemos entrevistado anteriormente. Hoy tenemos la oportunidad también de hablar con él para poderle hacer preguntas con respecto a este campamento y a los entrenamientos que él está haciendo también para hacerle preguntas acerca del nivel y de los jugadores de squash.
Uh, Khalid, welcome uh, to the, uh, the interview. It is a privilege to have you also being part of the uh, Watermelon uh, Squash Association. Uh, tell me, um, tell me a little bit about your background in the, uh, the training area uh, in squash. The training is going on nowadays and I'm four months before. I joined the Guatemala Squash Federation and now I'm the head coach of the Guatemala Olympic Committee. So the training, when I came here and I saw the boys, they had too many basic mistakes. And they needed a lot of work to do with them, but you know, uh, in a short time you cannot get results. But in three months, we achieved some good results like the last Pan American Senior Championship. In the first time of the history of Guatemala squash, the girl and the boy they reached in the quarter final of individual event. Like uh, Jose Paulo, he reached in the Pan American Senior Individual Championship, he reached in the quarter final. Pamela also qualified for the quarter final. In the Pan American Team Championship, uh, we got sixth position. Last year, they got twelfth position. In the women's double, we got bronze medal, like they got third place. So this is a good achievement in three months. And inshallah, I hope that we will do more work. And in the future, uh, we will get more achievements, not in a short time, because we have to wait. They have too much uh, basic mistakes. So we have to work out on the base first. So first, to make their base strong, then after that, we will go for the other things and we will build a building. So through, this is the way to improve the squash and to get some good results. Okay. Now tell me uh, about your background in the sport of squash and in the training area. Okay. Uh, about the background, I belong to the squash family. Squash is my family game. My father, my uncle, my cousin, my brother, we all like, uh, we ruled on the squash in the world more than 25 years. And still, we are ruling. <coughs> but <coughs> here in Guatemala, uh, like uh, the system was not like this, which is now, because we have to change a lot of things. Now we are going to get um, get it in the right way. So we will get achievements step by steps. Okay. So tell me, what is the next step for the uh, Squash Association and the players? What is it that you're going to do in the near future? Okay, in the near future, we are going for the Canadian Junior, for the US Junior, then in January for the British Junior, then we have the South American Senior, South American Junior. So we are planning for this now and the training is going on in the Middle East and West and like uh, we are trying our best. Okay. And let's, let's see in the future what will be the result. So we will go and we will change the plans and all the things according to the uh, results and according to the uh, performance of the players. Okay, great. Well, Halid, thank you very much uh, for giving us this opportunity. Thank you for coming. Thank you so much for having me here. Thank you so much. We welcome thank you. you and thank you again uh, for all that you have done. We have entonces concluido con esta serie de entrevistas a, a dos profesionales del deporte de squash. Más adelante tendremos otras entrevistas que nos estarán sirviendo para poder, para que ustedes puedan enterarse de qué es lo que está sucediendo con el squash en Guatemala. Gracias y hasta pronto.